Ah, uh, yes, he didn't get to touch me. That's quite nice. Tickets. Ah, such bad timing. Hmm. I need to get the TC up ASAP. I know he's still there, but... I need to get this TC up, and maybe he'll let me. If I just send enough bills at it, keep that area safe. I have way too much gold. I should start buying other resources, I think. Let me get this DC up, please. I need this DC. I need it right now. Come on, come on. I'm not gonna get this up, am I? The struggle. The struggle. Come on, 99%. Yes. I win. It is good day. Okay, now it's time to start really attacking this guy. I've really been building up a lot. I think it, I think I can start overwhelming him. The period in which I get raided with little to no response is over. It is time. Duel! Hey, castles, that's what I need, so I can stop getting raided. There's one thing I've learned from today is that castles... Castles are really good. Screw your raiding, son! It's a lot of... It's a lot of eagles. We'll regroup. We'll go in later. Technical town watch. Apparently it is a thing, Selmiak, apparently. We got all these TCs. But he's killing all my bills. I just need to rebalance my eco. Oh, okay. Getting raided so hard. Getting attacked from every angle. It's an exercise in multitasking. Did I just kill some guys for free? I think I did. I see a lot of corpses over there. God, this is such a pain in the ass. More bills, Rez. More bills. Boom, boom, you fool. Fly, you fools. Oh, he's got plus two, that's why. Plus two defense, so he takes like nothing from my, uh, my ranged unit. Still, though, I have a shitload of long swordsmen, so if I just get those in the front, it's really hard for me to manage all these things at once. But if I get these in the front, they absolutely destroy pikemen and eagle warriors, so I might be able to win that fight, even though it's like 2v1 and he's maybe way more guys than I do. I might still be able to win that fight. Am I under attack by now? Oh, oh, conquistadors! Son of a bitch! I'm getting raided non-stop by these guys. This is so obnoxious. They have like destroyed my economy entirely. These guys are focusing me very hard this game. But uh, I mean, they they left pawns basically undisturbed this entire game, so. I mean, if they're, if they're all gonna focus me and I'm gonna get raided by like four or five players at the same time, I'm okay with this. Like, I'll let it all inside. It's worth it in the long run. There's three of us, there's five of them. If it takes this many of them to just keep me contained, then they will eventually lose. Not going to lie, though, this has been incredibly effective on their part. They've kept me seriously contained since the dawn of time. I could use hand curtain and then I can find it. I've got my long swords out, which mostly have full upgrades, I think. Wood. I'll need cab archers to beat those pesky conquistadors, but it looks like those things have disappeared a bit. I need some plant archers now. Okay. Alright, I gotta regroup. Oh, looks like the conks are dead. Not bad. <clears throat> okay, so I'm gonna need a combination of guys now. That he has his counters covered a little bit better. Uh, and I should focus, I think, on getting to the Imperial Age now. Oh, hey, Robo's here. Man, there's holes all over my base. Uh, I can't close all of them. It's not really worth it. 
there's like more stone. Ah, yes, stone. I need castles. Right now, on the double. Stat. It's an emergency. And I think I'm just gonna buy my way to Imp. I'm done with this, uh, Castle Age Warfare nonsense. Oh god, he has knights in that corner, really? Uh, I need that stone, though. Hopefully he's not watching his knights, and I don't need to send any cav archers, but I'll send a couple. I, I need that stone. Bonds is booming, it's okay. Just need to survive all the non-stop raids. Did I get both of those? I think I did. Uh, these cavalry's away. Okay, I need to get uh, siege workshops. <laughs> and now a bear. The entire world is conspiring against me at this moment. Is there no end to the raiding madness? Okay, I have a big army. I just need siege backup. I need to get to the Imperial Age. Start tripping everything. Now I have two castles over here. I'm a lot harder to raid, which is what I like to see. These bills, I have no idea what they're doing. In fact, the word. There's a standing fee. Yeah, this is versus the viewers, yes. Yeah, they're all out of that stone. There needs to be more stone over there. I just need 10,000 castles, and I think I'm good to go. This is taking forever for me to get to the next stage. I need to make it up. Oh god, so many idols. So little time. Build me a lumber camp. What's going on? Ah, yes, the eagle raid from yellow is real. Time to push out. I don't know if it's GG yet per se, but, uh,. I see that Yellow is really doing some significant damage with his raid that the enemy team is not responding to very well. Now the shoe's on the other foot, now they're getting raided. Let's start working on my Gearhouse. There's one. Oh! You got a castle over there, okay. I see how it is. Touche. Touche. He's up to imp. Okay, so let's see. Hockey does. Make two trebs. New lumber camp. More bills. Buy some wood, sell some food. Push out with the ram. I don't have that much gold, dude, I'm sorry. Otherwise, I would send you more, but I don't have too much to spare. I need gold right now for techs. Technologies. Actually, I, know, I should, probably shouldn't have gotten that Magir Hussar tech. Now that I think about it, I don't really need it. <laughs> I don't think I'll be making too many Magir Hussars. They don't have any siege. Oh, any more houses now. No, it was not yellow who said GG. It was like orange who said GG. Acute pause of death. You gonna defend your castle, brah? Cause I'm going in, I'm taking your castle. Surrender thy base to me and nobody gets hurt. It's a complete lie, everybody gets hurt. Yay! You get a long swordsman, you get a long swordsman, everybody gets a long swordsman! I think upgrading to honor is a good idea. Especially in case he's got tons of plumes. Don't know if he does. What is this? Ah, uh, billions of barracks, I see. My eco's actually a little bit more balanced at this point, so I don't need all these, uh... I don't need all this food anymore. I'll sell it all. I have enough lumberjacks now, though. But... Can't afford two-handed sword... I can't afford champions to sell my food. That's why we can't have nice things. I got him by the balls. 
Now, just in case any of these guys get some bright ideas, I feel like I should put one more castle back here. But I think they're done raiding me for now. I think they uh, need to focus on defending their own base rather than ruining my day. Infantry! Upgrade those rams to capped at some point. Again, not a big deal. The focus is on the, uh, the trebs at this point. Holy shit, that's a lot of, uh, that's a lot of Huskarls. Maybe I can kill them all with a good old Honiger Blast. That's some good damage. Yes. So the lag is strong with everything. Uh, the Huskarls are going to be obnoxious, uh, that is certain. But that's why I have champs. Man, this is like a giant PSA for champions. Wow, wait, we're actually we're actually not winning this fight. This girl's are strong. I need a lot more champions and a lot more barracks. Winning that fight. We need more champions. Oh my! All right, we're falling back. <laughs> Retreat. Oh god, now I have way too much wood. I finally had, uh, finally got some wood in my eco, and now I have too much. Can't win this game. Just can't win. Eco will never be balanced, and the struggle will continue. Oh, see ya, Eddie Mountain. Thanks for stopping by as always, man. Appreciate it. Need to get a trade line out, actually. We're running out of gold. And just in case they try to do any more raiding, put another castle over there. I think I have enough, uh, I think I have enough champions now that we make short work of all their guys. He still does have plume darters though, which are a thorn in my side. We got that castle. That's not the bad. These girls do look cool, I agree. Yeah, I need to start getting trade. You are good rats. Chemistry. Actually I should get uh, I should get ballistics first. No ballistics first. Uh, can I afford elite skirm after that? I should be able to. Uh, I can go skirms and champs. I think that's a, a cheap, sort of cost effective way of uh, getting stuff rolling, I think. Shouldn't cost me that much in the realm of uh, resources to do that. Need more champions. I wish multiple building unit queue didn't suck and it actually put them all in the same. <laughs> put them all in like different buildings rather than. It puts like 15 in the same building uh, and then like one in every other. And it's, well, it's the trolliest function in the game. Either that or uh, the restore game function. This is pretty truly. At least it works now. It didn't work for uh, quite a long time. It didn't work until like a year after uh, AV2 HD's release. So it's fun. Alright, so we're moving the line forward. Pressure into these trebuchets, slowly move my guys up. I like this idea of scourge and champions. Counter his units, and it's very, very cost effective for me. Either of those are particularly expensive units. But you know what would suit my fancy is a trade line. For like that. That's a good idea. Is that enemy eagle warrior? I don't know where that eagle is. Enemy eagles and allied eagles? Is that it? Or where are these guys going? I don't understand. I don't know where those guys are going. <laughs> uh, hopefully he's watching those, but I'll, I'll ping it. Okay, yeah, I don't think he's actually watching that. Uh, Orange got raided pretty hard, and I guess he didn't really build back that much from that. 
Uh, many people make the, I guess, a mistake where they, you know, they won't replace lost villagers. Still, you always want to maintain that 100 plus villagers. You never really want to have less than 100, and you want to get there as fast as possible. So, many players tend to forget to replace lost villagers, really, you know, they don't make, like, enough TCs. You want to get there as fast as you can, right? So, that's the thing. He, he got raided pretty hard, so that's the reason why he's so far behind. He's taking a lot of damage in this game. Speaking of damage, like, could there be, uh, any less wood on this map? Oh god, the trade line rating. It is too real. That's why I have all these castles, right? Hopefully this will be three games in a row in which you guys see the might of castles. Too strong. See, this map is so troll because you can't really chop that wood either. Because <laughs> of, uh, the shallows. Although it looks like there is a place where I can actually put a decent lumber camp, but... This map is so troll. Alright, let's see, how's this going? Looks like White is slowly crumbling under the rating, which is good. We're making a lot of progress over here, although his guys are right and being raided a bit. Just need to get this damn castle up, and then like another one, and then they shouldn't be able to touch our trade line. Get this castle up, men! Please! And it's murder holes time. Push, 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 push like pregnant woman. Go, go, go! Waiting on you. You're gonna give me orders? Give me a ram. Fetch me a ram. Give me a glass of your finest ram. Oh, hot damn! Look at that gold right there. Ooh. That's exactly what Dr. Resonance ordered. I would like this, uh, this gold, sir. Hopefully you don't mind. It's gonna go take this gold. And, uh, don't mind me. I'm just gonna... Casually swing on by. Incognito. Okay, there are no mods here right now. Hawa. <laughs> Maybe I have to appoint a couple more. I'll probably do that at some point. Although, of course, if I decide to appoint, like, someone else whose name is not whatever your name is for mod, it's nothing personal. I can't have everybody be a mod, that would be kind of fucked up. <laughs> that would be funny, uh, but that wouldn't really be effective. So, if I could, I'd mod, like, 99% of you, but I can't, so... Not that I'm playing favorites, it's that I can literally can't mod all of you, or what's the point? I guess I'll have to point a couple, a couple mods, maybe perhaps. I just love it when we get those moments when it's like all mods in the Twitch chat. See, the all mods or no mods, you can't win. Anarchy, anarchy. Uh, the, the small trees are from the. Uh, it's called uh, Pussy Wood for HD Edition. It's on the Steam Workshop. Makes your trees really small. Helps you see around. Yes. Yes. Yeah, by the way, well played on my team. The enemy team is also putting up a really good fight, too. This is turning out to be a, a very solid match. This is a close, close game. I think the biggest problem is that, uh... Looks like Orange hasn't really built back up that much. He does have a Elite Mangadai now. That's good. I don't know how effective Elite Mangadai are going to be, though, against the, the Persian Cavalry Army. It looks like he's making almost all Cavalry in Siege. And it looks like the Aztecs is making like all Eagle Warriors and Pikemen, so basically all units that counter uh, uh, Mangadai decently. Nothing really counters Mangadai that well, but I'm so not sure if the Mangadai are going to do too much here. Uh, he needs maybe some like heavy scorpions, onagers, uh, camels, something, etc., etc. We got options. Oh shit! I just deleted that castle. <sighs> The slight delay there, I meant to delete these villagers, uh, but I, uh, the, the click didn't respond in time. Like, I clicked the villager, and it didn't, the click didn't respond, so I clicked delete too quickly. You gotta be much, much slower. Ah, foiled again. Fail of epic proportions. 
I've only done that like 18 times. And Kenneneers. Yeah, Bastard, that's a, that's a good choice. Kenneneers beat most of those. I, thankfully, I've got like 8,000 stones, so I don't really care, but that's... Tis unfortunate. Actually, you know what? I'll make some I'll make some Aguirre Hussars. I have plenty of food at this point, so... Screw it! We'll do it live. I have so many castles. Holy shit. Alright. Alright, Magyar Hussar time! I can kind of use like a front line of horses anyway. I use that to do a bit of raiding. I think I need to get a handful of siege as well. I like to hotkey all of my military buildings. It helps me quite a bit. I'm moving my gather points around. Geard! Oh, these goddamn champions, though. I mean, uh, the Huskarls. My arch nemesis. My kryptonite. It's like the second time the Huskarls have kicked my ass. Or at least recently. Huskarls are, are really, really annoying if you don't have a proper counter for them. I, I uh, you know, it would be nice if I had hand cannoneers, although hand cannoneers aren't the best against, uh, Huskarls. They're decent. Champions are still the best, I just don't have the eco for this right now. I also should make a lot more uh, unit production, I think. Closer to his base. So I don't have to walk so far. Did I unhotkey all those barracks? Okay. Wait, skirms. Need onagers for this, but I have some. They just... I also should have some Magyar Hussars on the way, right? There we go. Oh, looks like Food Market has uh, come back. Oh, wow, it looks like they're actually struggling a little bit in the side. So, I guess this match ain't over till it's over. Well, the, pi well, the pike's gonna hear that a whole lot. Alright, onagers, onagers! We need onagers for all these hand cannoneers and skirmishers. And a lot more onagers. Wow, I need onagers right now. It's an emergency! Get him, get him, get him! Ruh -ruh. Hmm. Okay. Got a lot of units on the way to the battlefield. So I should be able to take this area back a bit. I need a, I need a ton of onagers though if I want to be able to really push this back. Thankfully I actually get onagers and I'm not actually the Huns, because that would really, really suck in a situation like this. Look how crappy this wood line is. Oh! I can't build there! Can build over here? Yes, we want. Get him, get him. Okay, I think I finally killed his army. I have a lot of production facilities, so it's normal that I am out producing him, I guess, but uh which ones are Need to move the production line forward, that's pretty certain, and, uh, Prince de Lyons, or a House Ponce, is being quite helpful in securing this side. Push, 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 push. Yeah, my money's on the, that Spring wins the match I'm in right now. Spring's got this, guys. Spring's not actually this game. 
Spring's a very good player, it's a shame he doesn't play that often. What is going on? Uh, idols. These goddamn husk girls. I'm going to find their trade line and kill it. This is a long game. Probably gonna have to split this into two parts. Uh, I think so. Looks like Panda's built back up a bit, so that's uh, one of the reasons why this match is running the other way. Alright, push. Your trade line is mine. Surrender it to me and well, everybody gets hurt. I'm not a very good negotiator, am I? Charge! Charge, 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 charge. I hope this is their market. I really hope this is the market they're trading with. The one that's right there. Come on, come on. Oh, CS Havoc, why are you making, like, the correct troops for the situation? Also, look at this frame rate, like, this is the bug they said they were gonna fix in the next patch, where, like, units move, like, they've got, like, severe advanced Parkinson's, or, or like, no bones. Just kinda, like, rolling around. Uh, that needs to be fixed ASAP. <laughs> Supposedly next patch. Supposedly. The next patch can't come out uh, soon enough. Move up the gather point, mind you, her. What the hell? I don't know where Ashton Young is sending his guys, but uh, they need to be over here where the actual battle is. Unless he's trying to raid my eco with uh, elite skirms, which, if that's the case, I uh, I salute you, sir. You are far more creative uh, tactician than I am. Red's so boring. You would never uh, raid your eco with elite skirms. <laughs> well, I feel like I've done that before. Oh, please tell me this is the market. Please tell me. Why are all of these villagers coming at me? Oh my god. <laughs> no, my one true weakness. Villagers. No. Mindlessly walking into me. How will I ever defeat them? Their stupidity, it's rubbing off on my army, No. My units are getting a second hand high from all the paint these villagers are huffing. Oh. <laughs> what is- oh. What is this? I guess- is this their way of resign- is this way of resigning? Oh, I guess because, yeah, Gray is finally dying, okay, so... Even though this was an extremely close match, it looks like we're finally closing it out, and I guess this is Purple's way of having his last, uh, last hurrah. These villagers are too strong, how do you beat them? Oh, that's some good da, da. oh, did I not get that mercenary technology? I feel like I don't have it, actually. Oh, it's recurve, though. That's the one I don't have. GG, well played. Great game. Not deleting the castle this time. I'm gonna take it really slow. Slow with the mouse clicks. Yes. What a great game. Hope you all enjoyed this one. You guys liking the the 3v5 style thing? Or the 2v6, etc.? You guys like that stuff? Let me know. Hopefully you find it more exciting than the uh, watching me just sit still and do nothing making mass bombs. I think these are I think these are a bit more exciting. Uh, Alright, well, so Purple is down. Uh, Seas Havoc has been playing like a god. He, he built up pretty slowly, but you know, when he gets rolling, he gets rolling. And I think it's more important, like, to. It's much better to be a slow player that takes forever to get going, but, like, when you do, you destroy everybody's dreams. It's much better to be that guy than the guy who never builds up at all. So remember strong economy wins games. Build lots of villagers, and eat healthy, well-balanced breakfast. <laughs> Alright, now I can finally get their trade line. Unless this isn't their trade line. This might not be. 
If, uh, if they're smart, this will not be their trade line, because this market is pretty close to the front line. But it's over anyway. Enemy team is Gull and GG. Yeah, 3 and 5 seems more balanced, although I think that my teammates, uh, I guess... We, we can balance this a little bit better, but this was definitely a really close match. The one that we did earlier today was a little less close, but the teams in this one were pretty well balanced, I think. The enemy team definitely had us on the ropes for quite a long time. You know, Havoc played this one quite well. Really, everybody did, and this is a great match. My teammates, uh, did some good work. We struggled a bit early on, but so did I, and we, we persevered, built back. And we finally got them. Just as I'm deleting my villagers, they resign. It's gonna replace this with trade carts. Oh well. GG, well played. If y'all enjoyed this uh, video, please do leave me a like rating. I would really appreciate it. Oh, so there were some fish, actually. I didn't even notice that there was a river right here. I thought, hmm. Weird. Okay, so. You know, considering that there's like three medium-sized fish and a small handful of shore fish over here, I mean, it might have been worthwhile to put down a dock and like, maybe two or three fishing ships. But, um... Can a galley go all the way through here? Actually, no, I think you get stuck right about there. Okay, uh, huh. You could use the, uh, the galleys that get, like, a lot of mobility. It's not great just because, I mean, yeah, you can slip through here, but... Unfortunately, this this area is not connected, but yeah, uh, exploiting water on this map would have been kind of interesting, I think. Uh, oof, it's a lot of... It's a lot of cavaliers, uh, a lot of paladins. You might want to back them up with uh, hand cannoneers. Uh, this is a good way to back up your paladins and cover their weakness to halberdiers, camels, and other melee uh, counter units. Uh, hand cannoneers and paladins are a very, very powerful, powerful combination. And uh, once again, castles save the day! This is a good match, this is a good match. Let's check out the achievements, guys. Not bad, not bad. Good job, uh... Pants. Cavalier, really everybody, everybody played quite well. That's a lot of buildings raised, man. My goodness. Oh, wow, he didn't lose a single building. I don't know how he managed that, honestly. That's impressive, impressive. Oh man, it looks like Panda only capped out at, uh, like, what was that, 19 guys? Yeah, The rating really got him this game. I could have had more trade cards, I think, definitely. Uh, there was still some gold in the map toward the end, but, uh, I was prepared to transition into trade cards further. Cavalier definitely had some solid trade profit going there. Oh wow, uh, so they didn't have a trade line, really. Uh, Emperor Vanilla looks like was the only one trading. Huh. Okay. 198 villager hive. Ooh. That's the secret to success, guys. You need a you need a shitload of villagers. You need a lot of villagers if you want to win games. Uh, it should be about half the max pop of the game, uh, but you know it varies based on your needs. If you're running out of resources when you're creating troops, that means you probably need more villagers. Of course, this is within reason in a 200 pop game. You don't want 200 villagers unless you're slinging each other resources, but uh, you want a lot of villagers. And you just want to move the villagers between the resources so that you can continually sustain your, uh, you know, true production. So, I had a lot of villagers this game. You're going to need quite a bit. Quite a bit. Cavalier's economy was insane. I had a couple too many villagers. So I would say that uh, Cavalier's economy was closer to ideal. This is probably, like, the ideal amount of villagers for uh, paladins because they're expensive. I think I had, uh, like, maybe, like, ten too many because I was floating a bit of wood and food. I could probably swap this for trade cards. So anyway, this was a really, really solid game. And just goes to show that uh, tons of villagers wins games. Also, goths are really annoying. <laughs> so you always want to get 100+. plus. Uh, all these guys get 100+, plus except uh, Teal and Panda didn't really get the 100, but they you know, were rated quite a bit. Uh, I think Purple could have made... They could have made... They all could have made like a couple more villagers, I think. You don't always need to get to 150, which, because this is a 300 pop game, that would be half the max pop, but... Really, however many villas you need to just, uh, you know, sustain crew production, so it varies. So hopefully this helps you guys uh, a bit. Of course, if you need, you know, more specific help, my collection of AV2 tutorials will probably help you a little bit more than this will, but hopefully to some degree. And so yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys. I do appreciate it, as always. If you did like this video, if you could leave me a like rating, that would be awesome. And uh, of course, if you enjoyed this video, you'll probably like all the other stuff on my YouTube channel. 
I have plenty of other YouTube videos there uh, about other games and Age of Empires 2, so if you like this one, you'll probably like those as well. So thank you so much for watching, guys. As always, I really do appreciate the support. And uh, I think I'll do one final match of the day. I'll do one last match of the live stream. I'll show off the new AI uh, and like a 1v1, and then I'm going to call it a night. So yeah, we'll be back in just a few minutes. So thank you so much for tuning in the stream as well as helping me get all the way to 7K subscribers, guys. So. Thank you so much, and I'll see you all in just a minute. Rock solid indeed, Marion Star. And thank you, Diet Sprite Remix. So yeah, I'll be I'll be back in just a minute, and we're gonna do uh, we're gonna show off the new AI. Uh, so yeah, GG well played, guys. I'll see you all in just a moment.